This is how you play League of Legends Magic the Gathering. Two teams of two players team up with commander decks. Each team has a starting life total of 40. You face off like two-headed giants, except at the end of every turn after the first, your opponents spawn larger waves of minions that attack you. If you clear a wave during their attack, you get to visit the shop. This large pile of artifacts and enchantments are ready to be suited up onto your champion, but only if it's on the battlefield. Wherever you flip, goes first. It'll be me. Nope. No! No! Oh. Let's go. Well done. Okay, let's just FF. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm playing Legolas today. He look like look at him. He's made to be a League of Legends champion. Why haven't they added him yet? I guess something about IP. Yeah, it's probably expensive. So I'm playing Legolas today, and both of his abilities are amazing with combat tricks and fight spells. And luckily, I have a bunch of those in my deck to keep the opponent's board in check. And whenever I cast a spell that targets him, I put a plus one plus one counter on him. And at the same time, whenever I cast a spell that targets a creature I don't control, Legolas deals damage to that creature equal to its power. Oh, clever for the minions. Yeah. So I'm Glissa. Three mana, three, three, first strike, death touch. So that means she can kill any minion and then stack the equipments and hold off the wave so I can build up my board and reanimate big stuff from the graveyard. So she's got really good wave clear is what you're saying. You could be a jungler, actually, just going through, killing all the environmental Speaking, <laughs> Speaking of junglers, I, I've got Ragavan from the Limbo <laughs> Pilfer. So in League of Legends Magic, as soon as you clear a wave, you get an equipment onto your champion. So you benefit from having the champion out as early as possible. That's why we're playing Ragavan. And with this sort of Feast and Famine in the hand, it's gonna collect a lot. Because as far as I'm concerned, Yaman and Talib seem to only be playing green and black. But when it hits you, I flip the top card of your library, I get to play it, and I make a treasure. How does the monkey kill a creep? It doesn't. It just hopes that Aaron does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Medic, I'm a League of Legends shoutcaster. I do some other games as well, but I've been playing Magic for around 10 years. Today I'm playing Wilhelm the Rot Cleaver, and it's all about building a massive zombie army. Early on, I'm probably gonna go Soul Ring into Wilhelm and then see how much of a horde I can amass. He's a zombie warrior. Whenever another zombie you control dies, if it didn't have Decayed, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token with Decayed. At the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice a zombie if you do draw a card, and it's Representative of my teammates in solo queue. You blind drafted, right? That makes sense. Yeah, quick play now, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Keep this, seems good. Pretty good? Um, yeah, I understand all of your cards. Card five? <laughs> that worked, that, that was very cool. Are we good? Okay. All right, we draw? Draw your cards. We draw. I, draw. I didn't have a play, but I found the blue buff. Is it a soul ring? It's better than a You soul found ring. a blue buff? I'm looking forward to this analogy now. I'll play a forest. I play a swamp. I'll cast an Elvish Mystic. Half a Soul Ring. Mm -hmm. a green buff. Yeah. <laughs> I will cast a Viscera Fiat. That's my blue buff. That's not a blue buff. You put it where the dragon is. That's the blue buff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. We have oh, a creature we have now. A oh, this is such an effective turn. They ganked us. <laughs> my blue buff. <laughs> so I can sacrifice any creature to do Scry 1. Right, Drop. Draw cast. Yeah, I'm going to play a Swamp and a uh, Soul Ring. I of am going to play a Chromox. What? Pitching a Chaos Warp. They also drafted really well. <laughs> <laughs> All my cards are red, so we'll just put this aside for clarity. And then I'll play a Robber of the Rich. Ooh. Ooh, it has haste and reach. Wait, how many cards relevant. do you have? One, two, three, four. Ooh. Whenever Robber of the Rich attacks, if defending player has more cards in hand than you, exile the top card of their library. During any turn you attacked with a rogue, this is one, which is very convenient. You may cast that card and you may spend mana as if it were any color to cast that spell. Nice. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> I'll attack. Oh, it's only me? Yes. If defending player has more cards in hand than you. I have six. I have four. Okay, I will show you a beast with him. Oh, I'm not gonna cast it. Nice. Would you like to take two? Uh, no. First blood. Well, Where's my uh, 300 gold? <laughs> <laughs> draw. We'll untap and we will draw. I'll play a forest. I'll play a tanked wood, which is a forest. Sometimes. And I will play your biggest nightmare, Termination Facilitator. It sounds like it's yep. your biggest nightmare. Termination Facilitator. <laughs> no. Your pronunciation. He also looks very mean. So, it costs two mana. For tapping, I can put a bounty counter on target creature or Plames Walker. Activate only as a sorcery. And here comes the fun part. If that creature takes any damage, it will be destroyed. So good luck blocking creeps. I'm playing a one toughness commander. Yeah. <laughs> Basically anything they fight with have death touch. All right, well, talking about fighting, how about getting our first champion onto the rift, uh, which is Legolas. All right, and we obviously are angry at you, so we deal one damage. 39, we can take it. So shall our minions spawn? 
Yes, let's do it. What is said when our minions spawn? Minions have spawned. Yes, nice. Very you have good. to say that. Why? Just as a voice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can also use that. Yeah, no, that's fine. Minions have spawned. Yes, they have. But can you walk them up from the base? Okay. You have to, you have to... 90 seconds until they get there. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing this in 90 seconds. <laughs> it's really 90 seconds? No, it's not. Okay. Just... We'll block. Unfortunately, you both killed a minion. I mean, those are really weak minions. We cleared a wave. <laughs> so only yeah, I get to only flip. Only if you get your commander. Yes. All right. Yeah, so we get Let's one. see what Legolas gets. Legolas gets Illusionist Bracers. Whenever an ability of an of equipped creature is activated, Copy that ability. You may choose new target. This doesn't have any activated abilities. Yeah. Why did you buy this? What? Couldn't you have spent your gold on something better? My mouse <laughs> slipped. <laughs> have you heard the expression losing to Boris? It's a very common expression in League of Legends. Boris is the shopkeeper, and if a pro player buys an item that is suboptimal, it <laughs> lost to Boris. Ah. So that's what happened here. It's your turn, definitely. Well, untap. I'll keep draw. So, uh, can you play a creature that would clear the wave? Have you thought about if you get your Ragavan out, then we get both the. That is true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go Island, tap four for my commander, Vilhelt, the Rock Cleaver. Zombies. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> I'll play Ragavan. I read it earlier, but it's a 2 1 that when it hits you, I get treasures. I'm going to play a Maze of It. Oh. And I think we're ready for the wave. Uh, I would like to use my W action. <laughs> yeah, <I get> my <laughs> W action. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would like to pay four life, and I would like to kill the robber. Rude. Because if I have a swamp, I can pay four life to not pay it and destroy a non-black creature. It can't be regenerated. If if I don't block, we don't clear the wave. But sure. I want to give you a benefit, and this cost two, yeah. three, anyways. So I'll take a hit, and I'll get two to give you an equipment. Okay, sure. Ragavan jumps under the bus. Your minions die. Poor monkey. Take him back to the fountain. Okay, so I'll flip from the top of the artifact enchantment deck, and oh. Marauder's Axe. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus zero. Draw. Oh, that's very good. I'll so, play Forest. Can you do your thing? So, Wait, so you can just kill him, right? Let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Swamp. Oh, you already played the Forest. I did. Okay, cool. Good, right. good team play. No, it's fine. Do your lane, and we'll do my lane. So I'll cast a Cosmic Hunger, which is an instance that, that says target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target to another target creature. I'll choose my Legolas and your Wilhelm, uh, which causes Legolas to trigger, first getting a plus one plus one counter, and then also to trigger the second ability, which uh, makes it deal two damage to Wilhelm. He survives that, no worries, but uh, then the spell resolves, so it deals another two damage to Wilhelm. Oh no. Wilhelm dies. And now it's won't held. Good, yeah, good one, nice. Uh, does the axe just stay on the battlefield though? Yeah, it just chills. It, is that, yeah? Okay, he dropped it. Can we pick it up? No. Okay, and I will cast Glissa, my commander, and then we can attack, right? Um, I mean, I don't want to attack because I want to clear a minion wave. Eat it. I'll untap it. It's untapped. I'll take one. You take one? We're ready for our minion wave. Minion wave? wave? Second minion you don't wave. know how big the minion wave is. Pretty underwhelming, actually. Yes. Wait. <laughs> it's very important. Oh, two yeah. tutus. Attack. Yeah, Glissa is pretty powerful. It's, it's cool. We'll block. Any effects? No. No. First strike. Oh, Maze of It would have been so good here. They can yeah. never clear a wave. Uh, Next oh, turn, it's coming for okay, you. Yeah. Okay, okay, we're back in the game. We're feeling <laughs> it. Let's go. All right, these die. You, you do get a flip this time. Oh, we have. This issues. might be the last flip you get. All right. So, this is mine. Okay. No! Oh my goodness! Oh. Is this in there? <laughs> you went to the shop. Oh, you got really Boris. <laughs> you got so Boris. How are those my two flips? Oh my goodness. This is an actual mid I <laughs> just sold out of it. Okay, so well good. witness protection. My Legolas loses all of its abilities, is a green-white citizen with base power and toughness 1-1. One, one. Named legitimate business person. <laughs> My team is in us. So at least we get to power up your Glissa. Slab Hammer. Whenever a equipped creature attacks, you may return the land you control to its owner's hand. If you do, the creature gets plus 2 plus 2 and turn. Okay. Yeah. Um, Medic, it's our chance to pull ahead. Play your lands. Oh. Everything is swamps. Everything but is it even swamps. makes the... You can tap it now for a mana. No. I'll play a Handwear Garrison. It's a 2-3. Whenever it attacks, 
It put two 1-1 one, one red human creature tokens at and attacking onto the battlefield. I will pay three for a zombie master, um, which has been eroded to say other zombies gain swamp walk and other zombies have swamp regenerate. And is it a zombie or a lord? It is a zombie itself. Oh no, it's like when the errata people came, they're like, good news. You're a zombie! <laughs> He's like, sweet! But it's other zombies. Uh, and then I'll pay two to equip the Marauder's Axe onto my zombie master. So oh, it's now a 4-3. Cool. Yeah, it's now a 4-3. Are right. we ready for that wave? Bring on the minion wave. Oh, Those coming out to farm. Imagine like. they just walk. Imagine they get a hit by a town. <laughs> 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 they just, just want to have dinner. Mindlessly going forward. <laughs> yeah, I see. Yes. We've cleared a lane. They did. <laughs> Do you want to flip first? No, we don't have any commanders. Oh, we don't have any commanders. Unfortunately. Oh. We'll untap and we will draw. I'll play a forest. This would have been really good. Yeah, that would have been quite good, Tafel. <laughs> would have? Ah, it's okay. I'll pay two to cast a mind stone that I just drew. We're gonna move to attack and attack with us. This legitimate business person is not in the business of attacking people. Okay. Uh, would you like to take three damage? Unfortunately not. I'm gonna untap okay. the Glissa. It will not deal any damage until end of turn. Unfortunately, yes, even Death Touch or First Strike or any of this does not help. I will place one. And then... Oh, we have I couldn't even block her if I wanted to because she has Swamp Walk. Yep. Yeah. Thanks to someone's zombie. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> I will tap the facilitator to put a bounty counter on the garrison. I will tap two mana. Mm -hmm. And now you see the impeccable deck building that somebody has done. I will play Cheville, Bane of Monsters. Death touch. At the beginning of your upkeep, if your opponent control no permanence with a bounty counter, put a bounty counter on target creature or planeswalker. If a permanent with a bounty counter dies, you gain three life and draw a card. Stop killing my creatures. Hit us with the minion They're coming. Wave, the They're on their way. Wave, the minion wave. That Hit song actually plays in every wave. game of League of Legends. Oh no, will we get demonetized? <laughs> <laughs> it's a 3-3 three, three and a 1-1. One, one. So, oh, it's got the cannon. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. Um, Cheville blocks the 1-1. One, one. And I'll double block the 3-3 three, three minion. So these die? <laughs> yep. And Cheville just eats this? Yep. I will get an equipment for my Gleason. 3, 2, this. 1. Ooh, equipped creature one? gets nice. plus 1, plus 0, and whenever equipped creature is put into a graveyard, you gain 3 life. Let's untap, let's draw. Woo! Okay. Do we play the sword that beats their whole deck, or do we play the dragon? Do we want to just beat their whole deck immediately? We've been stringing <laughs> them along well. We want to well play so with our prey a little <laughs> bit. If you get 10 kills in a game, you don't want them to FF. This is right? the you League of Legends. This is the real <laughs> spirit. Uh, I'm going to play an island and tap six to bring Vilhelt back out. I'm going to play a Hanwar Battlement. I will add that it combines quite well with Hanwar Garrison. Right now it just taps for colorless. Also, I can give my creatures haste until another turn. But shortly, if I pay five and tap it, I'll flip this, I'll flip this, and magic will happen. I will play a mana vault. <laughs> what is Not going bad. on? <laughs> oh my So you God. could have flipped this now, right? I would rather pay red red. I think they're really dancing with us. <laughs> <laughs> and four, and play Tyrant Hellkite. It's a flying 6-5 trample that when I deal damage to a player, I take every artifact they control, including your sweet equipment. Let's go. Uh, and if I start the turn with 20 artifacts, we win the game. Nice. Well, you have the 3-3 and a 1-1. One, one. Oh. I would like to take the 3-3 three, three on oh, the dragon. Ah, the they found the line. line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Yeah, they die. <laughs> Minions are weak. This is go. yours then. This is mine. Here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> All right! <laughs> So we have flipped <laughs> Illusionist Bracers, Witness Protection, Slab Hammer, and Silver Life Staff. Equipped creature gets plus two plus two in protection from red and blue. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, Sword of Fire and Ice deals two damage to target creature or player, and you draw a card. So I'll just put this onto uh, Top of the doesn't Hilton. sound like it's only plus two plus two. little five five that I have going on. We'll untap. Add upkeep. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> and we draw. So I could basically kill three creatures. What? I don't know if their reaction. <laughs> <laughs> so you lie. I used the all chat. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> On my way, bot lane. <laughs> <laughs> the alt chat. I will cast Gargos, Vicious Watcher. Now, there is eight seven Vigilance creature which makes Hydra's cost four less to cast for me. Whenever a creature I control becomes the target of a spell, they fight a creature I don't control. I would tap my 
termination facilitator to put a bounty counter on your Tyrannic Halkitis. It's gonna die, right? Yes, it's gonna die. So I don't need to draw one? No, but you can use this. I'll use my imagination. Because it has a bounty counter, I will bite it. <laughs> you bit the dragon? Yeah. Ow. Now, Glissa bites the dragon. Oh, Tiger creature controls that makes sense. its damage equal to its power to a Tiger creature you don't control. Each opponent gets a poison counter. Because it had a bounty counter, we will gain three life. I'm contributing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the same. I'm just waiting for the minion her. waves. We're scaling, it's fine. Glissa is gonna attack. She'll take the usual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At the end of turn, we're gonna get cheap. Burp, 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 burp. It's oh. a 4-1 one, one, and a 1-1. One, one. I'll take the 1-1. One, one. I'll take the oh. <laughs> What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. Good block. Consider Give me something. the wave clear. That's like when the support al almost <laughs> last hits your cannon minion without the item up. Yeah, All right. Logical boss. Pop of all. Thirsting Axe. Equipped creature gets plus four plus four plus zero at the beginning of your end step. If equipped creature didn't deal combat damage to a <gasps> creature this turn, sacrifice it. <laughs> yes! oh, that pile is so kind to us. What is this pile? <laughs> it's great. Why? <laughs> That's ridiculous. See, the reason is it's quite cheap. So the plus four plus zero is very powerful. It's actually very good design philosophy. <laughs> from <Wizard of> the <laughs> I take it back. We'll draw a card. I, I will draw. Thanks. We'll take one because of Mana Vault. Idiot. 37. <laughs> <laughs> Choke on your greed. <laughs> okay, I feel like this is pretty good against them. I'll play a Source of Feast and Famine, which happens to give plus two, plus two, which is not the most relevant part. Also protects from black and from green. <laughs> what is this? Whenever a equipped creature deals damage to a player, that player discards a card, and you untap all lands you control. Wait, if you equip now and attack, you get to untap the mace. Yes. Mm. Play a Swamp. And then I will tap two and two swamps for a Liliana. Ooh. Uh, and then I'll plus one her. Oh, I'm gonna move there. Two. Mill three. If one of these is a zombie, each opponent loses two life. Uh, I milled the art school of Thraven. Uh -huh. You guys lose two life and we gain two life. This is the removal check. I'll attempt to equip the sword of Feast and Famine on my Henry Garrison. I will also raid it. That feels kind of rude. Would you be surprised if I thought that was a sorcery and we were actually screwed? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I will lose three life, but I will also gain three life because it has a bounty. Mm. And I will draw a card. We have to creep. Good luck. A 4-4 four, four and a 1-1. One, one. Okay. So, you so can... I can block both. Yeah. yeah. And maybe you'll get big enough an equipment that so you can we'll block Glissa probably. Yep. So we block like this. Wave five, cleared. 5 and a 4-3. And we will flip. Make it a good one. Lure. Ooh. Enchant creature. All creatures able to block enchant creature do so. That's like actually used, like somewhat yeah. like impactful. Moderate, I mean, those are very impactful. That's <laughs> 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 the way you want them to be. <laughs> True. Uh, so I make a zombie off Vilhelm. In my upkeep. Oh I yeah, can, we got bounty counters. I can. And I would assume we put it on the one that doesn't regenerate. Yeah, sounds smart. Okay. Then we go ahead and draw. Yep. I will start off with putting a bounty counter on Wilhelm. You do know it has regeneration. It does have regeneration. I'm just gonna say, if you're putting a bounty counter on it, you've probably done the math. <laughs> I might just save my mana in this situation. I will tap four mana and death sprout the zombie master. Destroy a creature, search your life for a basic land card and put it onto the battlefield tapped. I will put a regeneration token on Vilhout, I guess. Yes. Yep. And then Zombie Master will die. Can I stack regeneration? You can. Uh, I'll put three on. <laughs> Get through that. All right. I mean, it's... they're going to. They've done the math. <laughs> so that means I will search for basic. I will get a forest. You get three counters. Mm -hmm. And I will draw a card and gain three life. I will cast a Basilisk's Caller, Ooh. which says equipped creature has death touch and life thing. I think now we say we just, you just equip yeah, yeah, we... I will attack um, Liliana. All right, sure. I'll attack you. So Lily's gone. Liliana's you guys gain gone. eight. I will play Anictos as my land for the turn. Uh, at the end of turn, before anything happens... Free answer. I will sacrifice Glissa to my... Visor Seer? So, uh, so at least you get a scry. We gain three life. So we go to 47. Do we want her? No, it doesn't seem too great. I think she's kind of great. All right. <laughs> Overall. <laughs> <laughs> then creeps come. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Five, one. Ah. Uh, I mean, I know. I mean, you've got that giant thing. We can take it. Oh, five, five. five. So we gain eight life. <laughs> but none <laughs> of you have a commander. Good. Would you like to do zero flips? Yes. Well done. Mm. It's probably good news for them. That Could be worse. Any cards. Then we get <laughs> 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 <True>. Exactly. <laughs> Untap. 
We'll take one from the mana vault. Do this. Very nice. Do you have enough to cast I'm it? I'm one short, sadly. Oh. So if you could um, donate me a mana under the table, I'll just slide it on here. No one will notice. Oh, 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 oh look at that. <laughs> Red mana is <laughs> I, I will play it on my side of the board. All right. I will play a Grenzo Havoc Razor. It's a uh, legendary goblin rogue. And whenever a creature I control, including itself, deals damage to a player, I choose one. Either I go target creature a player controls, or I exile the top card of that player's library until end of turn. I can cast that card, and I can use mana of any color to cast it. I will attempt, removal check, to equip it with a sword of Feast and Famine. Okay. It resolves. Oh, okay, oh. nice. Wow. I will then give it haste with the Hanwar Battlements. Wait, that works? Before we move to combat. I'm going to play Bajuka Bog and exile I Toyofs. He can give us more poison counters if he brings yeah, it back. Yeah. <laughs> Get rid of that. Well, I'll pay four for a Cleaver Scab. Three mana, sacrifice another zombie, create two tokens that are copies of target sacrificed creature. Ooh. I'd like to attack with a 4-4. Four, four. Protection from green, protection from black. You keep on saying how good your hand is. So Tarf, eat it. I will eat four. Nice. 51. <clears throat> and I will discard a Buried Alive. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Buried alive, buried alive. alive. I will untap Senators every land I control. Point. Do you have anything in hand? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I have a, lab uh, a labyrinth and a ragavan. Also, you have a trigger off of Grenzo, right? And yes. I may exile the top card of your library. I may either goad something. Do we want that, or do I try to play the top card of Tal's library? I think just play the top card. Roll the, roll the dice. No, because I know what's there. I will sacrifice. Are you gonna scry? I have to just to not no. give me the card. It's no. too strong. Oh, it's too strong. I know what's on there because I've seen it. So I will scry Liliana. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, and give you a fresh look of a Necroblus scar. That's sad. All right, post combat, I'm gonna equip the Marauder's Axe onto the Cleaver scar. Bagavan's gonna come out. No, good for him. Mm -hmm. We can't clear this wave though, unfortunately. Uh, beginning of end step though, I'm gonna sacrifice this zombie to draw a card. Ooh! Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> a 1-1 one, one and a 5-5. Five, five. Do they stay for next turn? Yeah. There, there Have will you be ever more played minions. a tower defense game? <laughs> if you let one through, you're dead. Kill the one, take the five. Oh, take the five. Okay, we can go. Yep, we'll draw. I'll play a forest. I'll spend my turn while by casting, nothing yet, I'll float a mana. Would you like to put a bounty counter, um, oh. for example, on Carl's commander? I would not like to get asked twice. Stop killing my creatures. Yeah, you don't need to do that. So I would like to put a bounty counter on the Rogavan. So there what happens for just one mana? For just one mana? I'll play Bushwhack. Now, it either lets me search my library for basic land. I already have plenty of those. Instead, I'll make target creature I control fight target creature I don't control. I'll choose my Stop Gargas whacking. and the Cleaver Scab. But you remember the ability of Gargas. Whenever a creature I control becomes the target of a spell, Gargas fights another target oh creature no. I don't control. Oh, goodness. So I'll choose that Ragavan. Oh, no. Okay. So, they so fight. you gain eight twice. 11 life, actually, because there was a bounty counter on that. And then First there's another up. fight, which gains us another eight life against that 17. Cleaver Scab. It's delaying the inevitable. No, it's just going to take longer for us to take them So down. now we go to 17. Look at this. I'm uh, basically I'm doing the Baron play. The Baron play? The Baron power, the Baron power, power play. play. Power market Baron power play. So I tap two mana and play a Wish Claw Talisman. So it comes into play with three wishes. If I tap it, I remove the wish. I will gift it to one of my opponents. Carl? Thank you. Now I can tutor for something. I will tutor for Cable Coffers and play a Cable Coffers. Oh no. Luckily to one of my friendly oh, opponents, there's... I have seven swamps because of Orberg. So, I would tap those for seven mana. So it's basically what your Nyctos wishes it was. Uh, for two mana, I will play an animated. Which will animate the dragon. Maybe you should have gotten rid of my graveyard. Yeah. No, I have a Tyrant Hellkite. I still have mana floating. So for the green mana, I will play a Wind Grace Judgment. For any number of opponents, destroy target non land permanent that player controls. I would like to destroy this one. And the command. Fair enough. Yeah. That will make us gain three life and draw a card. 73. Yeah, it's gonna be a while. Yeah, okay. And with this, I would like to announce Uno. That's when you have one card in hand. When you're about to win, you say Uno. Okay, go. 
Uno. Win. Just, I, just to win. Doesn't he have to draw four because he said it when he's got three cards in hand? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, don't, don't threaten them with a good time. Uh, okay, we'll give you some minions. Two three threes. It's less scary. It is less scary than so a five, five, five and a one. So this thing can block. Um, Without dying? Yeah, not really, no. It can block. Yeah, just block. All right, my dragon. Sorry, your dragon. I'll remove it from combat. It's removed from combat. Ooh. You take three. We take three. Okay. And tap. And tap. We take one damage from the mana vault. Idiots. Draw. Medic? Yes. I think we need to have a turn. Yeah, we really do. Now, so I can populate the board with this. Oh, right. Wait one moment. I'm going to tap a mountain and the wish claw talisman, leaving one wish on it. I have to give it to someone. I'll give it to Yavin because he's not doing anything interesting. Yeah, we, we both agreed. Are you, you, are you celebrating? I'm irrelevant. Yeah. <laughs> You've been doing a lot of mean stuff to her. I will get a Blasphemous Act. Oh. Let's count the creatures. For one mana, I would like to deal 13 to every creature in play. I have a response. I'd like to cast Tamiyo's Safekeeping. Now, the first thing that's most important, I gain two life. Very relevant here. Target permanent I control gains hexproof and indestructible end of, end of turn. So oh. What did I say? Oh. That I choose the Gargas and Gargas fights something because I target. It. Will you stop it? Fight the uh, <laughs> Grenzo. It's okay. It's doom with impending anyways. I gain eight life. Okay, thirteen to everything, but this particular guy. Well, it also takes thirteen damage. It's just indestructible. I would tap eight to play your commander. And Army of the Dam. Oh. Thirteen taps. I remember two, two black cherishing that card when it came out. Like yeah. I, I remember have cherishing it, that card right now. So they all into tapped. Yep, they all into tapped. Spunk. Like you did repopulate the board. I did. Is it a population though? If it, if they're not alive, the viruses aren't alive, and they can be a pop. You can have a population of the virus viruses. is not alive. See, now we're getting into biology. Viruses are only really technically alive when they possess something else. That is. Yeah, they're dead when they're. That's okay, like our retention rate coffee. Is going <laughs> hey, hey, people would like to know about medicine. Okay, this is I base my entire brand on this, Carl. At the end of the turn. Yes. Give you us get a point. Okay. For six. Oh. Two, three, three. Doink, doink. Okay, you may go ahead. At the end of turn, I'll cast oh. Entish Restoration. I sacrifice a land. I search my library for up to two basic lands and put them into play tap. If I control a creature with power four or greater, I instead search my library for up to three basic lands. <laughs> Big surprise, I got myself three forests. Ooh. Yay! Which are also swords? Untap? Untap. Untap. Okay, so we have a lot of cleaning to do. Oh, can I have some yes. <laughs> I don't think that's legal, but I'll draw. Right, it makes the board cleaner. Yeah, the whole board, you know. <laughs> can you tutor anything useful? I'll try. I'll activate my wish claw talisman. So I've uh, this is I could do better, but this is the best. I can't actually do better. I got myself a card, and I will tap all of my lands. All the mana I have available, which is eight total. Mm -hmm. I will press the R key on my keyboard to cast the ultimate ability of Gargas. It's a spinning wheel kick. <laughs> <laughs> Target creature I control deals damage equal to its power to each of X target Ooh. creatures and or planeswalkers, which in this case is three. This Hydra is currently performing oh, a so spinning <laughs> wheel kick. <laughs> but because it's casting its ultimate ability, it also fights another target. It's spinning around, spinning around, dealing damage to all of these four tokens. In the Basically, process, gain, we gained 32 life. This is great! <laughs> Did it do much? No! You get more zone <laughs> <than> that <laughs> I would tap seven mana because of Cabal Coffers, and five of them I will use to cast Chainer. All nightmares get plus one plus one. For three black and paying three life, Thank you very much. <laughs> you can only do it 10 more times. <laughs> I can put target creature card from a graveyard under my control. That creature is black and a nightmare in addition to its creature type. When Chainers leaves the battlefield or the rift, I guess, I have to remove all nightmares from the game, which is good because once he leaves, all of you also leave us. Because your nightmares are sick burn. <laughs> Thank you. So I will pay a third one and steal the dragon. Again? Oh, the dragon is back We're just playing more. musical dragons. So this is now a nightmare dragon, which is 7-6. You must lose if you like to do that. Um, I'll go to combat, but I got a bit caught up in the whole spinning kick thing. It was very cool. I forgot to give away my wish cloud. Oh. 
<laughs> Anyone would like my empty ice cream cone? It can be a token of our friendship. Yeah. Right. Um, my Gargus will attack uh, for eight. It will get lost in a maze. Does it get hyper untapped now? Like it's the spinning. Yeah. It's a spinning. <laughs> <kill. laughs> and at the end of turn, we get greetings. Minion. I feel like I spent my mana unwisely this <laughs> turn. This is fine. You can attack with two four fours. Ooh. I'll block one. So my dragon will block one of the minions. Okay. Okay. So we do nothing, but we keep a four four in our pool. I'll okay. untap. I will pay four. For what? My mana vault. Mm. Okay. Let's draw. I have an army of eight two two zombies. I feel like a spinning wheel kick should have done more damage to like zombies standing on. I'm a giant they've hydra. Got, they've got short legs. <laughs> if it was a spinning head kick, it would have worked. <laughs> <laughs> Pay three for a death baron. Woo! Uh, skeletons you control and other zombies you control get plus one plus one and death touch. Good thing I am eliminated four of them. Yeah. <laughs> Pay four for a whip of Erebus. Uh, creatures you control have life. Oh lord! <laughs> this game no. will never end. <laughs> Uh, there is more text on it. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste, exile at the beginning of the next end step. If it would leave the battlefield, exile it instead of putting it anywhere else. Activate only when you can cast a sorcery. But we don't really care about that bit. We just care about the lifelink. Yeah, it would be a shame if something happens to the whip. I think something might happen to the whip. <laughs> <laughs> Minion wave, hit us. Minion wave. Oh, you're not even attacking. Well, you're cowards. Sorry, I didn't mean it to sound like this. It sounded a lot like that. <laughs> <laughs> These two minions should be attacking All right. as well. This is a big wave. wave. Yep. And we will chuck some zombies in the way. So all of them... Four zombies. And they all have minions. death touch. They all have death touch and lifelink. I will tap two and play Golgari Charm, which has modes. But the one that is important right now is destroy target enchantment. It's the web. Which still makes all your zombies trade for the minions, but at least you don't get left. So you get an equipment for each of your commanders. Unfortunately. I'll untap. I'll untap. And I will draw. And I will draw. This card's really bad. This card's really, you, you're supposed to say it. Yep. <laughs> this card's really cool. Play a forest. You know what? I have so little going on. I'll crack my mind stone. I'll draw a card. <laughs> you can play your Legolas. You know what? I will. You're very influenceable. <laughs> <laughs> I will play my Legolas. I will tap seven mana again to cast Glissa, my commander, which costs me five. And I will use Chainer. Again, we lose three life. I will get back a Chevro. Okay. So he's now also a nightmare. I would like to attack. It won't. Sad. Well played. Thank you. <laughs> I'll pay one for Shadow Spear, which it grants the equipped creature plus one plus one, lifelink and trample. And I can also pay one to remove indestructible and hexproof off of opposing cards. I will equip this lifelink thing to my Legolas because he's got nice legs. Okay. Yeah, and we're ready for a minion wave. Hit us. Okay. It's need. a 5-5 five five and a 4-4. Four four. So we've oh, got- and another 4-4. Four four. And another 4-4. Four four. I can do cover too. Then oh. I guess we put the shovel to the metal. <laughs> and Get the levy up. was dry. <laughs> um, I you remind eight? everyone that we do gain eight life. Here this will go. be good. This will be really good. I mean, how bad okay. can Wait, it be? Who's this? All right. This is mine. This. Binding power. Equipped creature has unattached binding power. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to this creature this turn. Okay, right. nice. it's not bad. Yeah. Same voice. Let's see for Legolas. Spy Kit. Equipped creature gets plus one plus one and has all names of non-legendary creature cards in addition to its name. <laughs> <laughs> it's a death baron. Okay, we'll untap. Yep. I unfortunately don't take one damage. I will play a Cabal Coffers of my own. Oh. oh. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tap for seven and two and one more black to flashback army of the damn. How much to make one card? 13, I mean, it's well, 26. Right now it's yeah. 26. You know how many wheel kicks we need for 13 more <laughs> zombie tokens. I'll play a mountain. I'll play a portal to Phyrexia. Phyrexia enters the battlefield. Each opponent sacrifices three creatures. At the beginning of my upkeep, I put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under my control. It's a Phyrexian. That's very annoying with chainers on the board, though. I will pay three life. I will reanimate the arch goal of fame with this or another zombie you control dies. <laughs> Look at the top card of your library. If it's a zombie, you may reveal it. Well, uh, I will sacrifice those three, which happen to have two zombies. So I will do that twice. 
You may reveal it and put it in your hand. If you don't, you may put that card into your graveyard. It's not a zombie. It's not a zombie. <laughs> and? Yeah, it's also not. Alright. I'll sacrifice those two creatures. Bye bye, but Gargos. You were awesome. Pay two to equip Sword of Fire and Ice onto this zombie, who is now incredibly powerful. And I will swing at you with a 4 4 zombie. 5 5 zombie with, with death, death touch. touch. We will not block. I will draw a card. How is it a good one? one it is a good one. And uh, then we move to minions phase. Oh, yes. 4 4 and 5 5. Well, we can eat that. Yeah. Well, I can just jump block. Yes. Okay. So we get to untap? We have a lot of work to do. This better be good. We have so many <laughs> zombies. Yeah. I mean, mm. I need a mana. This is, oh, I was about to say this is useless. I think this works. This is mine now. <laughs> you can't just take his cards. <laughs> I'll, I'll work with you. Do it. But you need one mana? I need one mana, yes. I'll cast a Utopia Sprawl. It enchants a forest. Which is <laughs> actually a Metopia Sprawl. Oh. <laughs> it's a literal Utopia. So Pavel can make blue mana now. I will. Tap for seven. If this actually adds anything, like... It does. <laughs> you will see. <laughs> I will play Dark Petition, which gets do me you, any card. Do okay. you have Spellmaster? Do I look like somebody who doesn't have Spellmaster? <laughs> I will tutor four. This card. I'm not telling you. I will gain three mana. I will play Great Merchant. But you have, like, two permanents. Yeah, it's four devotion, right? But it's each opponent. Trigger. So we take eight? Don't get it. Before this resolves, I will use Chainer. I will reanimate the Viserys. Oh, for that one extra More point! Damage. So you take five? Yeah, so you take ten. I will sacrifice the Grand Mansion to the Viserys. Ah, uh, then you can reanimate it. I will scry. That seems pretty powerful, and but... And then for the last two mana, I will return the Grand Mansion. Right, so we take ten again. So you're saying we have one turn. And I would like to announce Uno again. What a clean turn. You announced Uno? Last time you announced yeah. Uno, that's was pretty lame. Ah, it's too okay. I draw for it. No, no. <laughs> I also have a big play lined up. Mm -hmm. uh, like... Five, like for the demonic part, dark petition. Uh, seven, I'll cast Legolas. A late game eighty carry doesn't do much, <laughs> so it's fine. I'll play my last card in hand, a forest. Ooh. And I'll equip Legolas to give Death Touch Choices. and Lifelink. Okay. Minion wave time. Creep time? No worries. I've got Lifelink and Death Touch. On your one four. Yes. That is relevant, because this time they're all three threes. Oh. And it's three. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'll block one. Uh, three, five, Grey Merchant also. Blocked. So you gain one, but lose three. Untap. There we go. 13 zombies. But 39 oh, keep. damage. I will bring back my Tyrannical Dragon. Oh yeah, Portal. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh, right, so I drew this. Oh no. <gasps> do we have to, do we have to get both of them? Or if we just do one deck, do they lose? I think if, can you? Wait a minute. Because so they're, all, they're all three threes, right? They're all three threes. And if I play Vilhelp first, it's whenever another <laughs> what zombie, is going on? another zombie you die. Let's count our cash. Okay, count them. Sixteen times three. There are six. That's forty-eight. Uh, How many? How many cards are in your guys' decks? Oh, at least a hundred no, and forty-eight no. Twice. times two. Should I just go for it? I say yeah. Play Vilhelm. Okay, so we play seven of Cabal Coffers. 10 for Vilhout, um, and then, okay, so I play Out of Dimension for two. Yes, right? and you say you have infinite power. 48 I'm sorry, I'm not that strong, you know, I'm not <laughs> Thanos. Out of Dimension says sacrifice a creature, target player mills cards equal to the sacrifice creature's power. What would you like to mill? A zombie, three, three. Uh, Torf, three cards, please. No. Please? Why don't but we- only three. Why don't we just- Three, no. Uh, 45 more cards on top of those three, please. <laughs> And you get back how many decayed zombies? I get back 16 decayed zombies. 45, 48. Those all go into your graveyard. Does this look like 48 cards That doesn't to look you? like 48 cards, so let's go one at a time. Uh, mill three more cards, please, Torf. <laughs> mill three more cards, please, Torf. I don't enjoy your tone. Mill three more cards. You're a guest. Uh, mill three more cards, please. Mm. And uh, oh, three more cards, and we'll just do that 48 more times. Just make just it go mill, back, Mill them all, mill them all. Did you include an Emrakul or something? Isn't oh. that a so, spinning uh, heel kick for you, huh? <laughs> so we can all agree that on your upkeep, even though it's only Toralf, you die. Well, no, we're prepared. We're prepared. Do you pass the turn? No. Wait, no, how are you prepared? We can reanimate. We, You're still dead on board. This we is have an upkeep. speed. Upkeep, my friend. So we have to deal 110 damage. 
or get rid of that. Oh, easy. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Why is this easy? We better survive because now I'd like to play a mana crypt. Oh. Um, on my upkeep, I can flip a coin. We may take three. I don't think we can get to upkeep. I don't think we're gonna, get, we're gonna get there. I'm gonna tap to add two to play a Balefire Dragon. It has flying, it's a 6-6, six, six, and whenever Balefire Dragon deals common damage to a player, it deals that much damage to each creature that player controls. I will give it haste. Nice. With the battlements, and I will attack you. It's the flying. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, yeah, the yeah. flying, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. All right, we take six. I six. got this, I got this. Yeah, no, it's I know, fine. I know. It's fine. All of your creatures take six as well. Uh, all of the creatures. Okay, yeah. hit three, us with the creeps. Three. It's gonna be the same. Three. They're just gonna Five. lose, right? So let's just, I guess we just block and then they yeah, all die. Yeah, I'm really worried because they seem weirdly confident for someone with no library. Importantly, I control my commander. So when all of these <laughs> die, <laughs> oh, it's yeah. a flip of the coin. Let's okay. go. Everything dies. Death Baron. New champion oh, gets Swift Foot Boom. I mean, it doesn't matter Let's now, go. but I feel it's unfair that we were shafted. It doesn't matter because you're going to lose the yeah. game. Just Let's see about that. Just draw better cards. <laughs> Show us what you got. In my upkeep. It's your upkeep too. It, it is my upkeep, but I, I feel like I'm not getting this card not for gonna some reason. Your card? I would tap two. On your upkeep? Yes, on my upkeep. And... For the seven mana, I will cast a corpse dance. Now that's an instant. I will use the buyback option. So for five mana, I will put the top creature card of my graveyard into play. That creature is unaffected by summoning sickness and will be removed at the end of turn. I'm gonna get a Viserys here. Okay. This one has buyback, it goes back to my hand. I will cast this corpse ah, again. And this one great. is the one we really want. Yeah, so we would die. Uh, we would die? We would die in this situation. But what? thankfully, but we do have spell that. pierce mana. We do have spell pierce mana. And go for an <laughs> You can't refuse. <laughs> it's a dragon for Nexus trade, man. Uh, we draw? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All G right, G good games. Good games. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Wow. wow. All right. Well, shiver my timbers. Yeah. <laughs>